Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTech. I believe you already know that Microsoft have announced the release of Windows 11. And now is everybody curious if our computers will be able to support Windows 11. In this video at LearnTech I will show you how you can check if your computer will be able to run Windows 11 and if not, what are the most common reasons. In order to do that, we need to download from Microsoft the application which is called PC Health Check. So here we go. I have opened here the page from Microsoft where you can download this application. I'll put on the description below the link for it. And once you are here, you need to scroll down till you find this part here which says get ready and then you have the possibility to download the application through this link here. Before we download the app, I would like to have a look on the minimum system requirements that your computer have to satisfy in order to support Windows 11. So for the processor it should be at least 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores. And memory or RAM should be at least 4 GB and storage should be 64 GB or larger and system firmware should be UFI or Secure Boot capable and TPM should be version 2.0. We are seeing that most of the people are having problem with TPM, which is the acronym for Trusted Platform Module. We'll have a look about that in the next seconds. And then your graphic card should be DirectX 12 compatible graphics and the display, which should be at least 9 inch, internet connection for sure, etc. etc. So let's go back to TPM. So I will show to you guys shortly what does it mean TPM and why some people are having issues with that. So TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module and it is a technology which is designed to provide hardware based security related functions. A TPM chip is a secure crypto processor that is designed to carry out cryptographic operation. This chip includes multiple physical security mechanisms, etc, etc, etc. I will put the link about TPM on the description below and you can go through and check about that in more details. Microsoft have also published a list with Windows 11 supported Intel processors and you can have a look and check if your CPU is on the list and if it is, it means that you satisfy that requirement. It's a long list, but you can also search by Control F and then you search your CPU. So now that we have clarified how, which are the minimum system requirements for Windows 11, we'll download the app and check if my computer satisfies these requirements. So once the file is downloaded, we'll just double click over it and then it will start the installation. Preparing to install, normally it should not take a long time. We're getting this ready for you. Add a shortcut to desktop, yes, finish. So here we go, after I installed PC Health Check app, we'll see this view and in order to check it, you just need to click on this option here which says check now and then it will show if your computer satisfies the requirements. In my case it's showing that this PC cannot run Windows 11 while this PC doesn't mean the system requirements to run Windows 11. You'll keep getting Windows 10 updates. But actually the reasons why I am receiving this error is because my storage or my available storage is very small which is I believe it's around 9 gigabyte free space left so in this case I believe the reason why I cannot install Windows 11 is that I don't have free space on my computer another reason could be if your TPM is not enabled or you don't have installed TPM version 2.0. In order to see if your TPM is enabled or which version it is, you need to go at search and you just need to write tpm.msc and then you can open this Microsoft Common Console document. 
just click over it and here I have information regarding my TPM management. So the status is that the TPM is ready for use so it means that it is enabled and if you see that your computer is showing the status disabled or it's not ready to be used then you need to go on BIOS and you enable TPM. The second important information is here which will show the specification version which in my case is 2.0. In case that in your computer is not showing 2.0 or it is 1.2 then you need to upgrade your TPM and some TPM manufacturers are allowing that or are providing that to your computers. So you can do that also through BIOS and you can upgrade from TPM 1.2 to TPM 2.0 and then you have the possibility to install Windows 11. So these were the most common reasons why your computer may not support Windows 11 and I believe that we can find workarounds to fix these problems so that's why please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you will get the latest information about Windows 11 and the solutions regarding the problems that we will have during this upgrade. So that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Stay healthy. Thank you.